We are gathering people who work for the state education agencies in 13 of our 16 states to discuss with their peers ideas about how to improve their teacher evaluation and support systems. This day will be a success if when they leave, they have new connections with people that can be thought partners with them as they face some of the issues that are unique to their state. And it will be successful if they leave with some concrete ideas for things that they can try. I think the fact that SREB brings people together is the key to the work, quite frankly. They were instrumental in our first year that we were working with them here. They were instrumental in the second year as we were going through the process of determining how we were gonna collect ratings for teachers and principals and make sense of that information. I really liked the presentation on positive deviance. I thought that added a real interesting element to the conversation. And I think that really represents the organic approach that we're trying to take in Alabama. Positive deviance is where we're looking for individuals or groups or schools that are excelling in spite of the fact that they have the same limited resources as other families or people or schools. I think that's what we need to be doing as a state anyway is looking at what's right and then taking those people that are doing the right things and implementing those into our practices. So we'll be following up with the states, asking them how is the things that you talked about, how is that playing out now, what are you learning, and what can we do to help? I think our membership with, with SREB has been invaluable to, to West Virginia in that, one, it allows us to not go it alone. The, the, the value in collaboration with, with the other states that are going through the same uh, struggles that we have, as well as celebrating some of the same accomplishments that we have. So that, that's the biggest benefit that, of, of being part of this network. We had a representative that called last week to talk to us about what experiences we were having in North Carolina so that they could align the groups that we work with while we're here today at the convening. And being able to connect with the people who participated here will also carry us forward and give us good opportunities to connect with others and find out what their successes are after we leave this convening. My vision for educator evaluation is that we create systems and cultures where they hear what they're doing well, they get suggestions for how they can improve, just like anybody can improve what they're doing, and that it's done in a supportive way and done in a way that success for students is the goal that we're all rallying around.